Previously on the Presidential Gaming Drive channel, the three presidents would book their first premium live event, that being Hell in a Cell, in which Barack would finish at the top despite a commendable performance from Donald, who seems to have got his show back together after the situation with Seth back in episode two. Barack and Donald would also make a bet, where if Barack can get a five-star match out of his Shayna feud, Donald will have to trade a star of Barack's choice to him, no questions asked. The same but vice versa if Donald wins. With that said, it's time to proceed with episode four of the GM Mode series. We hope you enjoy the video. Also make sure to stay tuned till the end is from what I understand. George's new series will be revealed. I'd like to thank him for crediting my superior introductory skills in the last video. It's nice to know I am rightfully appreciated. Right, so keeping Shane assigned to my show is kind of mandatory at this point, due to the bet me and Donald have going on regarding her rivalry. I'm sure I can eventually get a five-star match between her and Vortex. As you saw there though, I wasn't going to allow Shotzi to use me as a piggy bank there. And Montez, for the love of God, all I can do is book the matches. Get over your skill issue and win a damn match for once. Ah yes, the return of the shakeup cards from last year. For those who don't know, these are meant to give you a bit of a boost. So if you're having a tough time midway through a GM series, these could be a get out of jail free card for you. Unfortunately, the ones I got this time weren't the best. So I just went with the one that would hurt my stamina the least. But for this show, Santos and Bobby are gonna switch places. I feel like Santos could be ready for the main event, so he's gonna go after Braun's world title. As for Bobby, he'll be starting a rivalry with JD. Falling down the card after losing to Braun at Hell in a Cell. Shotzi is gonna fight in a steel cage in the main event. Cause I mean, why not? She's gonna be gone by the end of the show anyway. Are you fucking kidding me? Shinsuke, I swear I only just re-signed you. I hope you loiter around in talent search obscurity for the rest of the series. Blaming me just because he couldn't win the world title. Pathetic. Speaking of my world champion, of course you can take two weeks off Cody. I'm sure absolutely nothing bad will occur due to me making this decision. Yeah, so something bad occurred due to me making that decision. I completely forgot the legacy reunion that I promised Randy. There's not going to be enough time for me to please the both of them. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to let one of them down. Which one of them it is, I'll decide on my next show. Oh yeah, and as for my shake-up card, I chose the affordable agent. Granting me a 50% price decrease on my scout searches. Another page to add to my Art of the Deal book. Now as for my show, I signed Solo Sikoa to a one-week contract, simply to just fill out the card due to Cody taking time off. We're gonna have Baron Corbin in the main event, seeing as he's the biggest draw in wrestling history. I do need to decide on what I'm gonna do with Gunther though. He's in a rivalry with Ricochet, but he's out for two weeks. Nothing too detrimental though. I could just have the ring general build up the feud through promo talk until Ricochet returns. Ah, damn, not these again. I'm sorry, Turo, but you're just not in my plans in terms of wasting more money. So goodbye. And you can go to Dominic. Thinking about yourself instead of the brand and the fine viewers of the show, Ray is so unlucky to have a disrespectful son like you as one of the greats of NXT. I'm more than happy for you to take some time off Johnny. Go live your life with Candace and your child for a bit. Now, as for you, Chad, this is just a big skill issue on your part, but fine. Your next match will not be against Jimmy. Time for some shakeups. I'm just gonna pick the safest option here, but at the same time, it's a pretty good one. I'm gonna use Instant Spa Day to get my Darling Theory stamina back up to 75. And just like that, all is right with the world again. Tegan Knox is gonna continue her feud with EO Sky. Chad is gonna have a match against the greatest star in the current day wrestling scene. And I'm just going to use Turo and Dominic for specific purposes in their last appearances on my show. For Turo, I'm going to hope that he'll put over my new acquisition, Ludwig Kaiser. And then, as for Dominic, I'm going to hope and pray like I'm Drew McIntyre that Ciampa will just beat his disrespectful ass inside that steel cage. Oh my, who could have ever thought that Barack's jobber feud would completely flop? Getting cocky already, I see. Oh, come on. Joe, am I out of line for saying that? He's got until the next premium live event, Donald, so he's still got plenty of time to cook. Thank you, Joe. And I do intend to cook. Whatever. <laughs> oh, shut your orange ass up, Donald. The will of the universe in a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen. I just call that f***ing around and finding out. What makes this whole thing even funnier is that Ricochet is injured, but unlike Braun, He'll be back in time for our next premium live event. You're being a little unfair, Donald. Especially considering how Barack was the first to check up on you after your whole situation with Seth. 
It's only banter until you take it too far. Right, okay, fair enough, Joe. I did perhaps go a bit overboard. I'll apologize to him when he comes back into the room. God, he does it like the best. You're really freaking me out with this theory obsession now. It's not an obsession. It's a way of life. It's hard to find someone who can do it like the best so well that it's obvious until he can't. It's hard to see the future right in front of your eyes at times until you see him. You may think you can't head to the top. And while that may not be a surprise, seeing him gives you that motivation to make it. I'm back, guys. Sorry about Thank that. Thank Christ. Don't ever leave me alone with Joe again. Wait, what? Also, I want to apologize for my reaction a minute ago, Barack. Nah, don't worry, man. I was mad at the situation itself rather than you. I mean, Braun was my top star for crying out loud. Well, in that case, then, let's book our next shows. And we'll see if you can get any further with this Shane Jobber feud. Trust me, Donald. I will, in fact, be cooking. Well, that's my hope anyway. Let's get Sammy contracted back up, too. I'm more than confident that I can get a five-star match with her and Shayna. I know it's possible. I just got to push for that outcome. Nice going, Montez. So instead of taking my advice and getting the job done yourself, you're just going to blame me for all your failures. Get out of here already. We don't need quitters like you on this show. Triple H kindly graced me with a health spa card. So I'm going to use that on Becky to try and get her back in action sooner rather than later. I decided to sign Thea Hale to a contract. With both Shotzi and Josie leaving the brand, I need to build my women's division back up. We're also going to see if Angelo follows in his partner's footsteps, or if he can get the job done himself against Trick Williams. I need to hope and pray, though, that an injury fix card will pop up in the shop before out next premium live event. Otherwise, I'm going to have to think of a different plan regarding my world championship due to Braun being out for four weeks. Oh, for the love of God, look at this. My own damn stars think they can go ahead and tell me what's best for my show. I literally just bought a, a new damn arena in the last episode for crying out loud. This is extortion. A clear attempt to remove my well-earned money from my presidential pockets. And Cole, I just couldn't care less at the moment. Just get out of here already, right? Okay, I know I may be jumping the gun here, but I need to think long term. Surely as time goes on, the chances of me gaining my profit back will be increased though better ticket sales because of a bigger venue. Plus, I really can't afford for anyone else to be upset with me, considering how I've got to let down either Cody or Randy on this show anyway. That would be bad business and could potentially be more detrimental than me losing this 200K for the bigger venue to begin with. I've made a decision on who I'm going to upset, and the man that is going to suffer will be Randy Orton. Randy, I'm sorry. I know I promised you a legacy reunion with Cody. It's just unfortunate timing that Rhodes decided to take some time off around the time you requested it. Now, why have I picked Randy over Cody? Simply, it's because Cody is my world champion, meaning Rhodes always needs to be my top priority when it comes to my stars. Besides, I'm pretty sure Randy is upset anyway from losing back-to-back -back matches to the biggest draw in wrestling history, Baron Corbin. Damn, this is new. I don't exactly want to buy a new venue quite yet, but I can't really have Chad getting any more upset considering all he's been doing is losing lately. So you know what? Screw it, we're gonna buy a bigger venue. That's taken a huge cut out of our funds, though. At least it's not the Ukraine funds, otherwise I would have been in big trouble. Anyway, the fangirl came back up in the talent scouting, so I decided to re-sign her to the brand. And one thing I didn't realize is that she actually retained all of the rivalry she had cooking before she left a few shows ago. I'm guessing it's because damage control is still on the show. If they had all left, then I don't think the rivalries would have saved if I then signed them all again after. We're going to use a health spa card to get Knight back on his feet again. In the meantime, I'm actually going to start an interesting title program between him and Ludwig. Now, for all you Fine Theory fans out there, rest assured, he will be returning to the world title picture after our next premium event. We'll give Knight and Kaiser their time in the spotlight before Theory ascends from the clouds to reclaim what is rightfully his. Because when that man heads to the top, it is never a surprise. Guess we're long gaming this five-star feud then. Progression is progression, Donald. Rome wasn't built in a day. Oh my God, I am sick of that phrase being used for everything these days. So Donald, what about that great wall you were gonna build? Rome wasn't built in a day. Oh, for f sake. Yeah, it's one of those phrases that just comes into your head instantly, unfortunately. Excellent. A level four rivalry is cooking. Wait a minute, Donald. Why have you signed a younger version of yourself? Oh, you're absolutely right, Biden. Look how incredible I look. I wasn't finished. I was going to say, why have you signed a younger version of yourself? And then edited him to give him a gym body. 
You've never had a damn gym body in your life. Yeah. Well, you've looked 85 years old for the past freaking century, you old ass grape looking fart. What kind of stupid comeback was that? Can we agree this match would cook, by the way? I'll pray like I'm Drew McIntyre that this match will come to fruition one day. What kind of weird rivalry is this? Is that slander towards Ludwig? We will not tolerate this, Donnie. I'm just saying it's weird, that's all. It could be worse. At least it's not theory again. Oh, don't worry, he'll be back in the main event soon. Damn it. For the love of God, how does he keep winning every damn time? It's hard to find someone who can do it like the best so well Shut that up, it- Joe, plea, treat. See ya, a most sus as a CZ. What the hell? Donnie, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just got a bit triggered, that's all. Seriously, guys, what happened whilst I was gone? All I did was recite the Fourth Amendment. Oh my God, I hate you so much, Joe. Good stuff, guys. I think we're really starting to become adjusted with this year's GM mode. Howdy, guys. Oh, hey, George. Hey, George, what's up? It's good to hear from you, Bush. What's cracker lacking? What in God's name did you just say? Guys, listen. It's time. Wait, really? Are you for real? Absolutely, gentlemen. My project is ready to go, and the three of you are going to be in the opening match of the series. I hope you all have been preparing for this. Barack. Before you bottle that bet of ours and trade me one of your stars, I'm first gonna demolish both you and Joe in the ring. I hope you're ready for this. Donald, I am the true American nightmare around here. I'm going to embarrass the both of you. Don't underestimate me, gentlemen. As president, I guarantee I'll be walking out as champion. I love the confidence exuding from you three. This is gonna be awesome. Folks, stay tuned for what's coming your way because history is about to be made. Welcome to the presidential universe mode.